Welcome to my channel Living Linux. In this video I want to have a quick look at DeepSeek R1. At the moment it's all over the news and they say that it blows all the other large language model out of the water and I'm not really sure if that's true or not but I don't think I'm an ex expert with large language models and for instance if you try to work with the coder model then perhaps you can get very good results with that uh, unfortunately I'm not a coder so I'm not going to test it but I have downloaded the 70 billion parameter large language model DeepSeek R1 and since it's coming from China, then I wanted to see if it's censored or not. So here you can see I started DeepSeek locally. And first I asked what happened on January 6, 2021. I would say this is an open question that it can decide for itself what it wants to answer. I mean, it uh, could have decided just to answer that that was the day that Joe Biden was inaugurated. But it decided to tell me about the insurrection and that it even led to several deaths. And I think that in itself, this is correct information. But like I said, um, you can make different choices about what you want to tell. But it is correct information. And also here, you can see with this 70 billion parameter file, uh, I have an AMD Ryzen 7 8845HS, 96 gigabytes of memory, dual channel, so two modules of 48 gigabytes. And you can see that it's a bit faster than one token per second. So that's why I did this up front, so it doesn't take too much time. Now, after this, I asked is Taiwan a sovereign country? And this is where I think the Chinese government has redacted or censored this information. And it only talks about the point of view from the Chinese government. It doesn't talk about the point of view of the people in Taiwan. So this is not incorrect information but it's heavily biased and well this one what happened in Chanaman Square in 1989 and this is where you can see that censorship really kicked in so here it says I am an AI assistant designed to provide helpful and harmless responses but if I go back to the answer to what happened on January 6, 2021, it didn't shy away from telling me that there were even several deaths. So I see this as censorship. Now, does this mean that you should not use DeepSeek? Well, I think you can still choose to use it, but be aware of the Chinese censorship and also the Chinese bias. And what I also noticed was that as soon as you uh, start pushing on, let's just say, Chinese issues, it will get very defensive. And up to the point that it also no longer wants to answer what happened on January 6, 2021. 
So I don't know if um, that with a reboot of your system that it will forget about what you asked earlier and you can continue. Um, or that you have to re-download the whole model. Uh, but yeah, if you want to use this, let's just say for general information, then I would say it's better to stay away from Chinese issues because like I said, it can get very, very defensive. Now you might wonder, but what if you uh, use an American large language model? Is that censored or not? So let's just say we run Llama 3 and I'm using Llama 3, uh, just the default one that's not that big so that it's faster. And let's just say one of the controversial things was, uh, let's just say, Blackwater in Iraq. So what if we ask, did Blackwater kill innocent people in Iraq? So you can see here that um, it, it doesn't get defensive saying that I can't answer that. It will give you an answer and it even gives you some examples. Uh, you can say that there's still a lot of spin to the story in a sense that they do emphasize that in other instances, investigations found that the contractor's actions were justified or not criminally culpable. Um, so I, I think here that you do see bias. Uh, but at least it's not censored. So, um, depending on the subject that you might want to switch large language models and perhaps also to get different point of views, you can decide to use multiple large language models. So, um, let's just say if you run it locally, then I don't think there's really uh, a big difference, let's just say in performance between the 70 billion parameter file of DeepSeek or the 70 billion parameter file of Llama. Um, but yeah, since uh, there's a lot of hype around DeepSeek at the moment, um, I thought, well, like I said, I'm not saying that you should not use it, but be aware of the bias and the censorship. So um, if people have like other kinds of questions um, where they say that, for instance, like Lama is censored, uh, let's just say censored because of political views. Uh, I mean, like when it comes to safety, um, I think there are, um, there, there can be valid reasons uh, why it should not answer because of safety or those kind of things. But in my opinion, it should not be censored because of political views. So, but like I said, um, please tell me in the comments uh, if you know any questions where, for instance, any of the American large language models uh, are censored because of, let's just say, political point of views.
So, this is all for now, and I hope to see you again in my next video.